and, yep, 15 centimeters. A solid, warm blanket of snow. The Subnivian Zone is restored. Sorry we messed up your secret world, Rolo. I had no idea so much was going on down there. You voles really are incredible. I mean, finding such an amazing way to survive through the winter. Yeah, and doing it so well that lots of bigger predators wouldn't even be able to make it through the winter if it weren't for you. Well, Jimmy wouldn't be able to make it through the winter if it weren't for Aviva. What? <laughs> I think he needs your heat amplifier. Coming up, Jimmy. <laughs> ah, that's better. Relax, so Jimmy. Time for that beach vacation. See you later, buddy. We're heading to the beach. Bye! Where's the food down here, anyway? Snowburger? Snow dogs? Snow on the cob? Kind of bland. Could use mustard. Hey, Bark! That's her lunch. They just feed on little trees and bushes that grow right through the snow. Ugh, I'd rather stick to snow burgers. <laughs> this is genius. The voles don't even have to leave the comfort of the Subnivian Zone to eat. And it's that nutritious cambium layer that they're after. Bark, roots, it's all down here for these little plant eaters. Okay, it's official. This is a winter paradise. A whole world we never even knew existed right under our feet. <laughs> Martin, did you ever get the feeling that voles are the main winter food for lots of predators? Oh yeah, like the voles couldn't survive winter without the subnivian zone, and the foxes, weasels, owls, coyotes, and bobcats couldn't survive winter without the voles. Oh, great. Everyone's trying to eat us. Oh, uh, hey, look at the time. I uh, wouldn't want to overstay our welcome in Volville. Nope, wouldn't want to do that. We'll see you, Rolo. It's been fun. Quick, let's get out of here, bro. Oof. Huh? Where'd that snowbank come from? <gasps> oh, uh, hi. You're not a snowbank, are you? You're an ermine! <laughs> <laughs>